Road Morph G combines the efficiency and power of a floor pump with the lightweight and portable design of a mini pump. The clever fold-out footpad and T-handle increase stability, comfort, and efficiency. The flexible air hose helps take stress off the valve stem while pumping, while the inline gauge accurately measures the pressure. When finished, the Road Morph G transforms back into its original compact shape and securely mounts to the bike. The Road Morph G is the perfect pump for general road riding, touring, and commuting, and is recommended for pressures up to 160 PSI or 11 bar. Hi, I'm Faye, and this is the Mini Bike Pump from Diafee. This bike pump is so lightweight and portable, you can be prepared for a flat tire anywhere. It comes with the bike pump, a ball needle, mini pry bars, a grinding tablet, tire patches, a bike pump holder, a fixed belt, fixing screws, and two valve caps. You have everything you need here to fix a flat tire, including the ability to switch between Presta and Schrader. You can find the two valves inside the pump head. Unscrew the black cap and then tip out the two pieces under it. If they get stuck inside, gently hit the back to dislodge them. Or you can pull up the gray lever on the pump head and the valves inside will automatically be pushed out. To mount it on your bike, use the screw, strap, and bike pump holder. Now you're all set to fix a flat anywhere. This bike tire is completely flat. It also has a Presta valve, so I'm gonna use the correct valve on the pump and start pumping. That's really all there is to it. A handy little bike pump to take with you everywhere. Hi there, today we're going to show you how to use the Pro Bike Tool Mini Bike Pump. Firstly, we'll show you how to assemble the pump. To do this, you simply open the dust cover at the handle end of the pump, like so, and unscrew the hose, which is stored within. Then, making sure you've got the correct end of the hose, you open the dust cover at the opposite end of the pump. Then, all you have to do is screw in the hose, like so. You just screw it in until you've got a nice firm connection. Now the pump's ready to use, so we're going to show you how to use it on the bike. Now we've shown you how to assemble the pump, we'll show you how to use it. It's important to note, before you even start think about pumping, if you use an inner tube with a removable core, you should make sure that the removable element is securely tightened before you start pumping. Once you've done this, you unscrew the valve of the tube like so. Once you've done this, you need to bleed a little air from the valve just by giving it a tap. If you don't do this, air may become blocked in the hose of the pump as you pump away. Once this is done, you screw the hose of the pump into the valve, pushing it on and ensuring you have a deep connection, screwing it right the way in. Once you've done this and you're happy that you've got a deep connection, you're ready to start pumping. 
Once you've finished pumping and you're happy with the pressure that you've achieved in your tire, you unscrew the pump like so. Then make sure to tighten up the valve of your inner tube. When this is done, you simply put the pump away, ready to go back in your pocket or your backpack. Simply return the hose back into the handle in the reverse of what you did earlier to install it. Then put the dust covers back over both ends like so and you're ready to go.